Hello, uh, welcome to another episode of the Gapster channel. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, crossovers. Not crossover design, but uh, mostly I would like to talk about uh, one question I was all, all, always on my mind is uh, how close can uh, inductors be close to each other? So basically we're trying to see if you're building a crossover how close can you put inductors together and in what angle? Like when you have two flat ones, one same plane basically, how close would can they be and uh, the interaction and if you have them at a different angle, what's the interaction as well? Uh, also, this becomes more complicated when you have four or even sometimes more inductors. How do you orient them so they don't interact together? Uh, and drew in uh, the whole uh, sound system. And uh, I've read some articles and stuff and they say oh, some spacing and uh, angles and stuff like that but uh, no one talks about really how, how far away they should be and I figure I better find out for myself. So I hooked up uh, basically I uh, have a, a, a signal generator hooked up to uh, uh, this particular uh, inductor and then we have the oscilloscope hooked up to the other inductor and uh, and with a small resistance just to weed out some of the noise and uh, so I've got here one uh, basically this is a uh, 10 kilohertz uh, cycle uh, going on uh, kind of typical what you'd hear in your maybe tweeter uh, so, uh, if you notice, uh, as I get close and close and close, you could see the same cycle, 10 kilohertz here, is picking, I picked up by the other inductor. Uh, there's nothing connected between the two, it's just a small, just proximity. Of course, if you put them on top of each other, you're going to get a huge thing, but that's you know, beyond the point. But th th what's striking me is that even at a distance of uh, what we say uh, two and a half, three inches here, we're still picking up quite a bit of uh, signal right from the other one. Uh, and we're about almost five inches, we're still picking up some. Uh, we're almost picking up some almost at 10, 12 inches. That is huge. That is huge. Of course, the remedies would be to not have them in the same plane. So this is when we actually putting it on a, a vertical side and angling it just by angling it just to the right amount, basically at the right angle of the other one. We can fairly get really close now. I'm going to do this uh, one more time. With this time, I'm just uh, zooming in on the oscilloscope so you can actually like, see it more clearly. So this is the. Uh, uh, both inductors almost touching each other uh, this but on the same angle same flat both flat on the table so this is about one inch two inches three inches four inches five inches six inches and this is almost about a foot and a half so you could see it goes a long long way uh, as soon as I put the inductor on its side, so now they're on the right angle to each other, now this is almost touching, uh, there's very little, and as I go this is one inch, two inches. So I would say basically to summarize this about if you put the inductors at the right angle to each other in about two inches you should be about safe and that's exact angles uh, so this is pretty much what's the takeaway from it so if you want to summarize is you're looking about two inches by having them at the right angle do not put them at the same plane uh, doesn't matter you have to be really pretty much a foot uh, to to be at about the same level of the two inches. Uh, for those of you who want to know like how, what's the interference here and how much uh, 
millivolts we're getting from one inductor to the other. So this is uh, basically right now they are about uh, I'd say one inch apart and if we look here at the screen we will see that just going to stop it here uh, so we get 178 uh, millivolts which is quite substantial uh, and if we move them at two inches apart we have about uh, almost 100 millivolts and that is about uh, probably five inches apart you're looking about 34 millivolts and eight inches apart you're looking about 20 millivolts and this is when they are in the same plane uh, uh, putting them in a vertical position uh, makes things a lot better uh, this is at one inch away so it's drop drastically to uh, basically almost uh, 15 millivolts so that's what I mean by vertically here they're at a right angle plane to each other those two and then uh, so just an inch apart now we have a substantial drop to uh, basically uh, we stop that uh, what 16 millivolts uh, and if we go two inches apart Oh, it's starting to be more noise here, but basically you're looking at if we get really close Yeah, I'll we'll pick up again about 40. This is about half an inch. So It's very very if you have them at the perfect right angle to each other you can get away with one inch uh, two inches is better uh, But this is when they're really good uh, Perfectly uh, at the right angle plane to each other and that gives you an idea basically in millivolts how what's happening and how much of an effect goes if you guys would like to know how does it actually affect the sound I did another episode where I uh, hooked up uh, an actual speaker to the uh, inductor and you could actually hear the sound I'll link that uh, description below and uh, that gives you a little bit of another take on uh, on the same problem uh, we're starting to pick up some noise here uh, probably I would say oh here we go that's the right angle right here so we're looking about three inches pretty much between the two uh, so that is fairly so you need to have those guys really separated and definitely not side by side uh, each other because that's really not gonna not gonna be good so a typical crossover will have maybe about three or four inductors and so we need to find a way to put them all in uh, the right places and then so one so they'll have to be in different planes so this will be like this and you could also have one in the other plane like that and that should basically get you covered but uh, even at that, always try to stay within at least a couple inches you're looking from each other. This is at the very, very bare minimum. And this is if you get the exact dead on right angle. Otherwise, you're looking about, you know, to pick up at least two, three inches. And never put them side flat, side by side, or within an inch of each other. You're going to get a huge pickup from one inductor to the other. And that at this level you will probably hear, you might not hear it directly, but there will be some mix in the noise. Or you do not, you do not want to mix your mid range with your, with your tweeter and and, and vice versa. It's gonna affect certain waves. So I hope this helps some people more like visualize how it is and not just you know talk about it anyway hope that's helpful if you find these things helpful please subscribe and uh, thumbs up thanks very much have a good day